we would not preempt an interview with Jim Owens for very many people, but one of those is with us now. Ted Turner is joining us, one of the speakers coming up this afternoon at the National Energy Summit. Mr. Turner, a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Call me Ted. <laughs> Ted, I will take you up on your offer. What is it that gave you the vision to think about sustainability before virtually all of corporate America even considered this an economic factor? Well, I read and study a lot, and um, I spend a lot of time outdoors, and uh, I'm, I'm very interested in the natural world, and and uh, so I, 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 I'm uh, well versed on it. At what point did you realize it was a cost benefit? Uh, did it take quite some time to recoup the economic costs that you had to spend and invest to be sustainable and be more uh, economically and environmentally sound? Well, you know, I just uh, tried to do use the, the latest technology. I, nothing, uh, there was nothing magic about it. What do you say to members of Congress right now that are fighting with the issue of climate change, those who still don't see it as a factor? We must have a good, strong uh, energy bill that encourages uh, replacing fossil fuels with clean, locally produced uh, energy and renewable energy. And I, I think most of them get it. <laughs> what about those who don't? There are considerable numbers. Those that don't are just on the take from the coal industry. Let's talk about pricing carbon. Do you have a preference for a system you would like to see? Well, whatever they come up with, I'll go along with. Uh, regardless of the complexity of a cap and trade or the potential distaste of a carbon tax? I, you know, that's for the government to decide. But, but basically, they need to do one or the other. What about uh, your restaurant chain, which has really come to live the idea of sustainability and eco-friendly products, all the way down to biodegradable straws and some of the products you use? How difficult is it to come up with all these resources to bring them together? It wasn't too difficult. We, you know, straws, no, they weren't making paper straws. We found a, a straw person who had made straws years ago and quit making paper straws, and he still had the machine to do it, so we cranked it back up. But how difficult would it be for someone without your vast resources, someone who wants to materialize Pretty something? easy. All you have to do is cut out the lights when you leave the room. <laughs> you know, that doesn't re require vast resources, just quick fingers. Well, what do you do then for your employees across your, your empire, if I may use that term, to foster that culture of, of uh, conservation? It starts at the top. We just set a good example and suggest that they do the same, and most of them get it. Ted, what about the issue of U.S. competitiveness? That is the theme here at this two-day summit. What's the key in your mind? Work hard and be efficient. Okay? <laughs> Simple advice. Thank you very much. Ted Turner, very direct, very plain spoken, and in some senses, a man of few words.